Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. It is Friday and I'm hyped because I am going to try to have the most productive day that I've had in a while. Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm manifesting that I'm going to be super productive today because I honestly don't really have a choice. There's just too much to do and too little time. So it is currently 8.55 a.m. At 7 a.m. this morning, I had a shoot with one of my blogger clients. So that's why you saw some footage of South Congress this morning. So that was really fun. It just got so humid so fast, but we were trying to like beat the heat and it just came at us like that it's honestly just so hard to like hide from it here because either way you're just gonna get hit with the heat but this week it's supposed to be 100 degrees like consistently so so not ready for it but last night we went to the trader joe's area like if you guys are from austin um it's like the austin power plant um i don't know why i always center everything around trader joe's over there but there's this bridge over there and we sat on it it was the most perfect night so i think i've learned my lesson just don't go out during the middle of the day because it's just not fun i hate when my ac kicks on mid video because it's like so freaking loud um but i'm actually uploading all of the photos onto this um online gallery called pixie set it's especially awesome because they can actually go in and favorite the photos and then they can like send the list back to me so then i can go edit the photos that they actually want i know a lot of photographers like choose the photos to be edited but as someone who takes a lot of pictures of themselves i feel like i know what looks good on me and like what poses i like so like if somebody else were to pick my pictures i feel like they wouldn't choose the right ones so i totally understand that but for my bloggers i usually give them all the unedited photos um because obviously they want to edit it to their style and their consistent feed so this is what it looks like it's just easier to look at it in a gallery setting and then you can come down here and actually favorite the photo so that list will get sent to me and then i know which ones i've edited which is amazing i know i have a lot of photographer um followers so i do want to start giving like my photography tips and kind of just like what i use in my business but i definitely recommend checking this out i used to use google drive and it was just like a pain for them to like pick the numbers and then I, like they would literally write out every single image number so this is a lot easier and um, I think like the first I want to say like three gigabytes is free but then after that they have like subscriptions so it's currently 9 a.m. I'm about to send the pictures I took this morning to my blogger and then I'm gonna probably try to plan out my Instagram because I haven't posted in a while and I need to get back on my grind because I still have like a couple of beach photos that I wanted to post. I'm just kind of like overseeing only my face on my Instagram but it's hard because I'm not really doing anything else like taking photos of other things and like with other people. I'm just gonna see if I have any old photos that I never use. I feel like I always ask Ryan to take photos of me and then like if I'm shooting with my friend or something and then I like never really use the photos which I'm like I don't know why I do that <laughs> but I need to start so I know I have a lot of those so I'm gonna go back through this and find those. It is 9 34 and I got all my photos onto my iPad had. I actually just bought a subscription to Planoly and it's just like an Instagram planner app. I used to use Better which was spelled B-E-T-T-R but their app was like so glitchy and it literally like won't open at all. So I went to go comment on their Instagram and they haven't posted since like 2018 or 19. I don't know but either way like that sucks because so many people bought their um, plans and they lost money um, because obviously like i don't know how they can get their money back um but the app is literally not working so i decided not to rely on that and just like get something else so i'm currently playing jigsaw with um my instagram photos and just seeing how they will lay out um but i also want to create like a drone video for my instagram just to like split up my photos because it's just like i said it's just too much of me and i know like an instagram like yeah it's supposed to show you but also, I feel like a good photo to get would be like of my room, but I also need to show you guys like an apartment tour. It's been a year since I moved here and I still have not gotten around to it, mostly because I just wanted to wait and see like what other furniture I got and like what other decorative pieces I got, um, but nothing's really changed and I have decided that 
I just need to get it over with and be done with it because I'm just like pushing it off, pushing it off. So I need to film that. I kind of want to be done with my Instagram stuff for now. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and vacuum because Ryan just left to get like breakfast or something. And for some reason, he just like doesn't like to hear the vacuum. So I'm going to try to do that um, really fast and while he's out. So let's get to it. So I just got out of the shower and it's time to make some breakfast. It's currently 10.49 and I'm gonna make some oatmeal. I just did my makeup and now I have to do my hair. I wanted to show you all these two products that I've been literally obsessed with lately. They're actually both from Playa and I'm pretty sure they're sold at Sephora, but this one is the New Day Mist and it kind of just gets out like any creases. And then this one is Soft Volume Powder. So I use this now as my dry shampoo because I never really wait till it gets like incredibly greasy that I need actual dry shampoo, but this just kind of gives me that volume and kind of soaks up a little bit like that greasy look on my bangs <laughs> so i'm gonna use these two products um first gonna do the new new day mist just got done curling my hair and now i kind of want to make some tiktoks because i well, actually TMI, but I had like a really bad under the skin pimple on my nose and well on the side of my nose and it was so bad. It hurt so bad and I like picked at it and then it scabbed over and now we're back ladies and gentlemen, like it's gone. So I took advantage, put on makeup, got ready and I want to do some TikToks because I um, made this TikTok and posted it actually like I think this week, but I made it so long ago. Um, I posted it, when did I post it? four days ago, so that would be Monday. And it's literally just now going viral. It keeps going up, but it has 22,000 views right now. What is this angle? I don't even know. It has 22,000 views. It like stopped, it kind of like plateaued at like 12,000, but like now it's going viral again. It's weird. And now people are like commenting on it. It's actually pretty funny. It's like about Priyanka Chopra. I met her when I was little, but I did the sound that's like famous relative check because I feel like a lot of, um, people just like think that indians look alike so i thought that, that would be funny but i need to keep up this momentum and uh make some tiktoks so i'm gonna do that probably won't show that because that's kind of weird and, and i probably won't want to look back at the footage of me making tiktoks because i know making tiktoks is like low-key cringy so i'm just gonna go do that it is currently 11:48. And I think I said this, but I don't know if I did. Ryan and I's friends from high school are coming to stay with us for the weekend. They're coming from Houston, so they're just driving up. And I thought they were gonna come a little later, but they're apparently coming at two. <laughs> so I have like two hours to um, make use of my makeup and like clean a little bit more because I need to clean their bathroom. Cause my stuff is literally everywhere. I'm not too stressed, but I feel like TikToks take longer than you think they would. So it might take a little bit. Right before that, I need to moisturize. And I actually just got a Glossier order in the mail. I got another bomb.com and this is the coconut one. And I honestly thought I would like the mint the best, which I have a mint, but this coconut one is by far my favorite. And then I got the Body Hero moisturizer. So I kind of wanted to try this out today because I've been running low on body lotion nice and thick and creamy <laughs> oh my god it has a pretty light scent but it is still scented which is nice because i always want to smell good and i can't be crusty and um ashy i wouldn't say i'm addicted to tiktok but it is something i check um 
more regularly than Instagram just because you never run out of content to watch on TikTok but like you do on Instagram because you're only following so many people. I guess you could go to the explore page but it's just not the same <laughs> but um, I have been like sending myself TikToks that I like want to remake or like um, like ideas that I want to make to the sounds of the TikTok so I'm gonna go look through that and we can get started. <laughs> My phone is on 20% so it has to charge but I get asked a lot what ring light I use and this is my baby. This is the Diva Ring Light Supernova. I swear this is like the OG ring light and it was definitely very expensive because there weren't other like dupes around. It was like the ring light to get. Um, but now there are so many on Amazon, which are like a hundred times cheaper. So I will link this ring light and some dupes down below. Um, I know with TikTok and everything, there's been some people that have gotten ring lights off of Amazon. And then like that same ring light is like $20 more expensive just because they know that people are wanting ring lights right now. But I did want to answer that question. Also, I feel like I, I think I did tell you guys my phone is like still messed up from like that water damage. Basically I was at a shoot and it started raining and my phone's already cracked so it definitely got a little messed up. The colors on my screen are just not like they used to be like it's almost like muted like less contrasted. So now my TikToks look like shit <sighs> and I just tried to learn a dance and it took me forever and it was like the simplest thing and it's sad because I feel like I never thought I was a bad dancer like at the club you know at the bar I'm always like wanting to dance and stuff but when it comes to like choreographed dances it takes me a while to like process it in my mind I literally remember cheer camp in I want to say eighth grade my cheer coach pulled me to the side and was like you are going to be put in the back if you don't get it tomorrow. So I practiced literally all night and I just couldn't have that happen. I did not want to be in the back. Ryan just told me that our friends are gonna come in like an hour, so I should probably clean their bathroom now, you know? It would probably be a good thing to do. I don't really want to stop creating TikToks, but duty calls. is finally clean and it is spotless i'm actually really glad that they're coming because it gave me a reason to clean because usually i'll just like go as long as i can i literally scrubbed the bathtub because there was like this bath mat that ryan's mom bought um and i thought there was probably stuff under it which there kind of was so i cleaned and scrubbed that i cleaned the toilet and i put a candle on just so the house could be smelling good i'm like really extra sometimes when it comes to like having people over just because i want them to think our place is nice and like homey and stuff like that i also just cleaned the mirror which was very very needed it was like super like dusty i just changed into comfy clothes because i'm just kind of like done doing the tiktok stuff for now um, but I got a snack because I'm like starving <laughs> and like nothing sounds good to me But then I saw this in my fridge my friend Taylor left it here because I had like two friends over for 4th of July They brought so much stuff and like left so much stuff So I'm literally going to eat her French onion dip and her chips so She left it here <laughs> right now. I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos and probably edit some photos too our visitors came and I totally didn't vlog but vlogging today it is um come on visitors come over here you're blurred out saturday and it is 5 p.m and we're about to go to dinner we're gonna go to elizabeth street cafe this is cam he was in a vlog of mine and then this is abby you want to tell them how you guys are doing? we used to wrestle around for a couple hours a day <laughs> yeah they uh also football too yeah, but they wrestled in high school. i was like fifth grade with cam yeah maybe taller than cam now how about, biggest how loser but i put on those shoes and it, I'm yeah, like a four inch tall yeah. <laughs> oh yeah we have to re recreate our shoe pick because last time abby wasn't here but he had an internship in houston but now abby moved to houston and he's gonna go join her soon okay, but back. <laughs> and um <laughs> uh what was i gonna say oh uh, Ryan and Cam bought boots last time and we took this iconic picture. I'll like put it right here We're gonna have to recreate it right here. Yeah <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to recreate it this weekend because they both bought um, what's it called shoes running shoes Hoka yeah, running shoes. Yeah. Hoka you can't shoes. tell. Yeah. Like running. We're, big, we're big runners <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go to dinner eat some uh, Hopefully Vietnamese food. We're gonna have to do a walk-in because we they got booked up for the weekend
Pam and Abby just left. They only stayed one night with us, but Abby's starting work on Monday, I believe, and then Cam has to drive back to Georgia. Cam moved Abby in in Houston, so they had to go. I wanted to show you guys my dress before I change out of it and into comfy clothes. Um, I'm getting a lot of love on stories right now. This dress is from Waif. I think it's like, where are you from? I think that's like the acronym, um, but it is super pretty. I usually try to stick to neutrals and just like not very patterned things because I feel like I just kind of get over them really easily, but this is just such a stunning dress and I really like it. So I'll try to find the link for you guys and put it in the description box. I honestly don't know how long this um, vlog is, but today I tried to do a side part because Ryan is convinced that I am losing a lot of hair and that I'm like, literally, I don't know. Sometimes when I put it in a ponytail, I like see that I'm kind of, you know, have some sparse areas. Um, and I do lose a lot of hair on the daily, but I've always thought that was pretty normal. But I should probably get it checked out soon because I literally just, and it's like a chunk of hair. <laughs> but really quickly, I just wanted to talk to you guys about um, like YouTube views and all of that kind of stuff. I've been doing YouTube for like six years and I've built my channel to almost like 20,000, well yes, at 20,000 subscribers, probably a little more now. And if you look at my views, like I just feel like they don't correlate as you would think they would and I'm just not sure if people are even seeing my videos in their subscription box or like if the YouTube algorithm is really like messing with it or something like that you know so I want you guys to comment down below if you guys you know regularly see my videos in your subscription box or not because I've heard a lot of people they comment on my videos and they're like oh my god I like forgot about your channel I'll turn the bell on and that makes me think that they're not seeing it in their subscription box which like kind of makes me I don't know just like sad because I feel like I put so much effort into my videos and like there's nothing I can do I feel like so so that definitely sucks but um this is a reminder if you guys do like my content and enjoy watching my vlogs then go ahead and turn on that notification bell icon thing it would honestly just mean so much to me because I do put in so much work into these vlogs like it's not just like a cut 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 like I do like the music color grading all of that stuff and trust me I'm not complaining because it is literally my creative outlet like I love doing it but I would appreciate all of y'all's support and even like comments on my video I know people don't usually comment on YouTube videos like most of the time when I'm watching YouTube videos it's very um, mindless like I just have them going on in the background but if you are one of those people that are literally eyes glued on the screen just leave me a comment on some of my YouTube videos literally telling me what you had for breakfast I don't know I've heard that it helps channels grow and I'm not asking for like a pity party or anything like that but I do appreciate any support y'all give me and 99% of the time and I will try to make it a hundred percent I always reply to everyone's comments so go ahead and leave a comment on this video if you made it all the way into this vlog and again I really do appreciate all of y'all's support I know a lot of you have watched me for so long like sometimes I meet people and they're like oh yeah I've watched you since like high school like your prom video I'm like sorry you have to see that but also like thank you for your support but I'm gonna end this vlog here I don't think we're doing really anything else super fun tonight I'm gonna change into my comfy clothes probably probably scroll on tiktok Ooh, that's another thing i wanted to mention go follow me on tiktok because i am going to make it a point to post on there um one of my tiktoks i literally posted one on monday i think oh i think i told you guys because i was making tiktoks yesterday um one of them is still going viral and um so i want to keep up that momentum so give me a follow it's literally the same at name as my instagram it's so underscore gnarly without the g and i really want to get better at posting um, on there. I know that people are like worried that TikTok's gonna get banned, but I don't know. I'm being hopeful, you know, trying it out. <laughs> it's been like a year later since everyone actually told me to try it out, but better late than ever, I guess. But I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!